57. It's wild. Alright, so this one is good. We could override it and save it. Critical cooldown. Wait a minute. Oh shit, I fucked up. I totally fucked up. I overrode our critical cool. This is supposed to be our overlord build. And our critical cool is supposed to be... Well, now we can redo it. So it's like a little burst. If you trash that. So for this one, we're going to have the vector. We're running the tactical vector here. Alright, so now we gotta rework our build here. So we're gonna do critical cooldown for uh, this build. Critical damage, critical hit damage, and cooldown. That's looking good. That's trash. Should we just do overall weapon damage?
We'll do overall... What is it? 6% weapon damage? We'll do that. Alright, so now... We have to be, we have to have five critical less five or less to activate the uh, critical hit damage is gained for every five percent of your armor that is depleted. So we gotta have five. So we gotta spend our critical damage points pretty good. We don't need shotgun damage, so we could actually. We could go skill power. And that'll actually put us in great line here. We could even go 5.0. We could do this. I could actually replace this. Puts me right back up, right? All right, so I think we got our loadout for this. So we basically achieved the five or less for the uh, critical weapon damage builds. So we hit the five or less, and so now we do get the plus 10 critical hit damage every time 5% of our armor is depleted. I'm actually liking this build right here. It looks pretty good, looks pretty promising. Um, but I think I had the hive for this build. Definitely had the hive restorer and the turret. I think that's what we were running for our build. All right, so I'm pretty uh, I'm confident with this one. I'm liking it. So let's. Go to critical, cool merc, which is critical cool mercenary. Let's override that. And there it is. So we got our overlord build. We got our max skill power build. Our critical cooldown build. And our sniper critical headhunter build. And we've been running a lot of critical with this, uh, mainly headshot criticals. So anything that resembles a headshot or uh, critical damage, we've been running with this build. All right, so that's going to be pretty much. I think that's going to be a wrap for us. We got our loadout specked out.
kind of want to replace this with this. All right, got you, bro. No problem. I'm about to call it anyway. I'm just fine-tuning some of these builds, and uh, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna call it. I think we did pretty good in terms of progress for today. I'm liking this backpack. This is pretty much the only backpack that's giving me 11.5 critical hit damage. If I see something, well, that's not bad either, but... It's not 11.5. Gives me critical hit chance and weapon damage, but uh. Backup. All right. Should we deconstruct? The, I mean, we should deconstruct because we've been selling a lot of shit. I'm gonna deconstruct it. See if we get anything good from it. Any of this junk. And we receive nothing from it. I thought I was gonna get at least some of the. Uh, some of the faction stuff, but, uh, oh, let's, you know what? I almost forgot to save our loadout. This is our, our headhunter, right? I, I almost forgot what fucking, yeah. Okay, so... All right, so we got all our loadouts specked out. Thank you very much, Koski, man. It means a lot. Definitely like the support. Much appreciated, but, um... Oh, you're playing Anthem. I was actually, um... I was actually contemplating going back to Anthem tomorrow. Just because um, I kind of finally reached the... Uh, ah, you got it on PS4. Fuck, okay. I got it in the Xbox One. So yeah, we pretty much completed Anthem. We were pretty much at the end game um, portion of the game. So now we're just doing like missions and strongholds and stuff like that. I really enjoyed Anthem, man. I, I want to go back to it. I just wanted to first... Since I already beat Anthem... And I'm kind of at like the end game portion of Anthem. I kind of wanted to beat this story mode. And once I reach the end game version of this game, kind of um, switch back and forth. Since I'll I'll be doing both end game content for each game. So And that's pretty much just grinding. It's not like you don't have to keep track of story and stuff. Oh, nice. Yeah, I saw that. I saw it on my Xbox One when I turned it on today. That, um... It was, uh... It downloaded an update. So I was, uh... I was pretty pleased to see that. I didn't hear anything about it. I didn't hear them tweak any of the loot drops yet, but, um... I know the last time I... I f the last time I left off on Anthem, I was just getting Masterworks. I was rarely getting any legendaries, but um, I definitely want to. I definitely want to hit that game up. Oh, okay. Well, drop rate is good. I don't mind the drop rate. You know, it doesn't have to be great loot, but as long as you keep on dropping shit, the, you know, like I'm actually happy that I got two exotics in this game. So far, but the only two exotics that I was able to get were shotguns. So I'm a little disappointed in that. I would have liked a uh, a sniper or an assault rifle exotic. 
more the assault rifle, just because I love playing assault. Um, but yeah, we got uh, we got two exotic shotties. So that's pretty much our loot drops in this game. But um, yeah, thank you very much for tuning in, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow. Maybe we'll start off. Well, you know, we'll probably start off with Division Two. Probably do some more story, and hopefully, I'm trying to wrap this story up. I keep on fucking up every time I start this stream. I'm like, alright, we're going to go story heavy. We're going to go story heavy. Finish up the story campaign and go right into like world tier hunting. And then I get caught up doing like control points, looting, tweaking fucking loadouts. And then we barely get into the, uh, we barely get into the fucking, um, the story. But tomorrow we're going to probably have a nice little early start. We'll probably go right into the story, probably knock out the last remaining missions, and we'll see from there. Maybe we'll jump right into Anthem um, and get some Anthem playing because Thursday, Thursday we got the uh, Mortal Kombat beta coming back. If you pre-order the game, um, I think either today or tomorrow is the last day to pre-order. You can actually get into the, uh, the beta that comes out Thursday. It's a four-day beta. From Thursday to Sunday. And they're actually adding characters. So it's not just the Scarlet Baraka Scorpion from the online stress test. But you're, you're also getting Jade, Cabal, um, and I believe Johnny Cage. So we're going to be playing some more Mortal Kombat 11 this whole weekend. Um, and we're going to mix it in with obviously Division 2. We're not just going to do Mortal Kombat. But um, obviously we're going to try to take as much time and opportunity as possible. Because... It's only around for four days until April 23rd. So we will be having some Mortal Kombat action um, starting Thursday. But um, yeah, thank you very much for tuning in. Koski, my brother the Feist as always, tuning in. Um, and I will catch you guys manana. Peace.